All right, before things have a chance to really get going and uh, clutter the room to where it's hard to see everything, I wanted to just show you the layout of this basement garden while it's practically empty. So this room here is um, 13 feet wide by about 40 feet long. And the first thing here, the, the trays on the bottom that you see this for uh, drip irrigation of uh, rockwell slabs for cucumbers, uh, tomatoes, and bell peppers. And then beyond that is our propagation table for, you know, little seedlings, which uh, got started two and a half weeks ago, I believe. And they're uh, going to go into the NFT trays in about a week or so once the roots have a chance to grow through. And then we have a strawberry table. This was one of our four NFT tables that I changed into a, you know, Rockwell slab drip uh, table. So that way we can have these long-term strawberries. These are day neutral Albion variety. So they pretty much grow all year round. The next are her three NFT tables for various greens like um, lettuces, kale, chard, um, collards, pretty much anything, basil. And uh, these are, all of these tables are seven feet long by three feet wide with a two foot aisle. This way you can reach the tables from both directions, reach the center of the table. It uh, makes it a lot easier so you, to grab things and you know harvest and trim and things like that. These are our little cucumber and tomato seedlings and bell peppers as well. Um, those will get planted out a little bit later. Now uh, these trays, if you guys are wondering, they're from uh, Farm Tech and what I really like about them is that the lids are removable so you can swap the tops with a different hole pattern and you can easy, you know, have easier access for cleaning. And um, right here is our sink that uh, we clean the trays in. So that makes it really convenient. And the reason why seven foot wide, I mean, excuse me, seven foot long for our trays is because that's the room that I had for a sink. <laughs> And uh, so we made our tables, you know, the same width so that way I can fit those trays in that big old sink. Makes it a lot easier to clean. And on the, on the back here, we pretty much just have this uh, two-inch PVC uh, pipe that's at a slant, or, you know, that's at an angle. So that way it drains down into the reservoir in the back over there. And, uh, you know, these guys just sit in the, you know, just fit like that. Of course, the further down you go, the taller coupling you need. And on the very beginning here on this end, they just pretty much just have a hole right in the pipe since, you know, the pipe is much higher. Okay, so let's show you a view. I guess this is just our little cleaning sink that we use for general purpose some circulation fans and lights and that's uh, basically it for the room I guess let me show you real quick the nutrient tank and all the little gizmos so and I have everything off right now so that way it doesn't make all the noise and make it hard for you to hear me so all the pumps and fans and everything else is pretty much off Anyway, that's the tank, and this is a, I think it's a 50 gallon tank, but I have it set to about 30 gallons or so. This is all the automation and control and monitoring section. And, um, you know, that's basically it. So, as far as the lights, under the NFT section we have water-cooled. The LED lights are set up in a water-cooled configuration. And over the long-term crops, I have them set as a ducted, you know, in a parallel ducted cooled version where the air 
being pulled from the room and dumping back into the room, you know, for a little bit of additional heat since we are in the basement. And the seedling table has the lights configured also ducted, but in a series where, you know, the water, excuse me, the air passes from one to the next to the next and also dumps into the same room. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed and watch, stay tuned for future videos where I'll explain in detail every part of the little uh, setups and such.